<laughs> Keyblades are dumb. <laughs> uh, that's my takeaway. I will take a hammer and fix the baby. Please. You alright? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna double check. So, Twitch's auto mod thing can't be queefed and asked me to approve those messages. Good. Why not? Uh, right, I have to go to the pilots from here, I think. Oh, don't worry, the overlay will get more and more shit up as this anime hell continues. <laughs> I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Yeah, as well as the actual misspelling of bequeath, um, May actually knows the answer to that question being posed in the tweet. Uh, yeah, but it's a dumb answer, so. Also, it is, like, full spoilers, so. Full spoilers now. <laughs> Wait, full no. spoilers for a game I don't have even played. I don't know anything about Aqua and all of them. They're news to me. Well, you'll have a great time. <laughs> the trident is mine at last, and I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. There's still a no. I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this. Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? You know, Edmund. If I ever get a subscribe yes. button, we um, I will set up. Uh. I will set up Streamlabs so that when, if somebody does subscribe during Kingdom Hearts, it will say that they bequeathed. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, Hansel. I will probably never get a subscribe button, though. But it's a way off. The requirements for that are insane. You need to have, like, several thousand followers, as if that's something that's easy to do. Mm -hmm. Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt, and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. Shut up, Sebastian. No one likes you. Hello, I'm back. Hello. Hello. My brother's gonna go get me cheeseburgers because he heard me saying I wanted a cheeseburger. <laughs> right, he's the best. What right. a good brother! What a great brother. Uh, in the meantime, uh, sorry, I. <sighs> go ahead. Um, yeah, that last message got auto mod checked. Maybe auto mod is being a little sensitive right now. Maybe. Uh, but I I have it on like about medium sensitivity just in case. That's fair. Um, 
you know, with the... Uh, with some of the stuff that we talk about on this stream, I figured it was just like a better safe than sorry kind of thing. Um... You know, the CNN analysis, so... Well, it, also, it's Twitch. Um, but I was just... I, I was searching for an Overwatch in my start menu because I'm a lazy idiot who doesn't like to scroll through my start menu. So I typed in Overwatch, except for some reason my brain decided to repeat the second syllable, so I just typed over Overwatch. Over Overwatch. Over 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 Are you okay? Yeah, I'm trying to like extend Overwatch. All right, that's why I was getting hit. So can you ask your brother to bring me a, bring me a burger too? I think he's already left. I want a burger. And that's the only reason. Yeah, that's the only problem here. No, it's not because we're a, ran a family friendly content group that randomly talks about Bad Dragon. <laughs> it's because I am openly gay and the internet is historically not very good about that. I mean, yeah. especially very recently with all the restricted stuff. It's yeah. Real shit. Fuck off, YouTube. Also, you know, I'm a woman. Also that. And the internet doesn't like that either. Not a fan. Nope. Put the big fat no stamp on it. Take it off the lesbians, put it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel to Overwatch, Overwatch. Prequel Underwatch. Just watch. Just a watch. Just watch. Clove is now playing Overwatch. Cool. We should get Clove in here and play Overwatch. Uh, is that better? Mm. We'll play Overwatch while you keep playing Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, go for it. Arisa's cool. Seriously, though, would Chloe like to join us? You can ask. And then he can holler at me about our podcast. Also, like, some people are really surprised that I've literally never played a single competitive match in Overwatch. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, like, just... This... Clove says they want to go get their last loot box quick for today, and then they'll join us while they work. Okay. We can talk about Kingdom Hearts. I, di yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize that um, they were talking about, like, Overwatch. I thought like the service loot box they had multiple subscriptions and had to go get the last one of them. So I was confused. Okay. Speaking of, yes, I wonder what Humble Monthly is today. Uh this month. Uh I know Tricky Towers is on it. For the Humble Bundle. And that's like the only game in the pile that looked interesting, so I feel like I'd rather just pay like $10 for Tricky Towers itself than with the bundle where I'd go to like 10 other things. No, not the bundle, the Humble Monthly. Um, oh, a friend... Huh. Like, when I, you know, lost my primary income and had to rely on Patreon, uh, Remy was like, okay, I'm going to buy you a six-month gift subscription to Humble Monthly, so you'll still get new games. Okay. So oh. that's nice. So I have a copy of The Witness now because of that. And like, some One Piece game that I got last month, which I gave to Grapple because like, I knew I wouldn't play it, but I knew he'd love it. Oh, frick. 
I was gonna make a new room to call Clove with with all of us, but I actually don't have May on my friends list for Discord, weirdly. Well, let's fix that. Yeah. Yeah, Taking and I don't have request. Clove, so... Um... No. I don't have a pending friend request. There we go. Tick. Yeah. Thank you. I'm honestly surprised that we weren't already. Yeah. Like, we've it's been in the it... DM room for like six months. <laughs> it's because it matters less on Discord. It's true, it does matter way less when I have like three different ways to poke you that aren't like DMs. Come on. Heal. Weirdly judgy of you, that King Art. What's it judging you for? It's just like, I was trying to examine the thing and it just said, isn't there something else that you should be doing? Not, can't do right now, just... Now it is not necessary, now mate. Now it is not necessary. What a good line. I have used that in my daily life. It is useful. It is very useful. Like, ha have you used it in your daily life? I think I have. Probably not as often as you. But it's come up. I just sort of sometimes forget that Arctic Alive ever happened until it all comes rushing back. Yeah, and then you remember the cook should be in a cage wearing food. And then I remember everything about it all at once. Just... Yeah, and speed man, more speed bears, bears, bears cannot count, climb trees. And I remember, I specifically remember that because my reaction was to giggle and say all of those facts are incorrect. <laughs> no. Which is probably one of the cleverest reactions I've ever had to anything. I still love that, like, she actually plays the piano. Yeah, that's so good. Guys, if you haven't watched me and Gnome, well, I say me and Gnome, I mean specifically Gnome. Well, it's RLP, so, yeah. I, I, I played I it, but co-commentator helps. Yeah, especially when you spend, like, a, literally an hour and a half stuck in the same room because we didn't know where the sneak button was. Yeah, and it didn't even help. No, it didn't. It really didn't. I actually did better without using it. Yeah, there's that one episode called The Sneak Button called Every Death This Episode. Yep. It was not actually a helpful feature, in spite of being advertised as one. Okay, I'm just gonna run and use the bathroom real quick. I won't be around Okay. Yet. Unlike the hypothermia, it was not helpful. Yeah. Not nearly as helpful as the hypothermia. Or the boner that you have to use to do ice fishing. Or my wonderful fish fires. Ah, uh, fish fire, crude fish, leg fish. <laughs> leg fish? Leg fire. Leg fires. Yeah. Leg fish. <laughs> I just described a reverse mermaid. Yeah. It's a leg fish. I just love the idea of the word fires replacing fried. Yeah. It's well, not a fish fried, fried fish, as well. it's a fish fires. No, it was leg fire and fish fried. I remember that. Oh, okay. Is it? Re <laughs> yeah, I remember way like. I thought it was fires while cooking, and it becomes fried when you pick it up. I think it. Yeah, I think yeah. that is correct. Like, the amount of random information I've retained about Arctic Alive is taking up valuable neurons that I can use to like <laughs> remember my mother's birthday. But no, I, I remember facts about Arctic Alive. Oh, there was an Overwatch patch two days ago. Huh. Just bug fixes. Okay. Fixed a bug that, bug that prevented Sombra's boop voice line from playing. Boop. Fixed a bug preventing Orisa from deploying her supercharger inside of the payload. That makes sense. Um. Yeah, the game was unplayable while boops didn't work. That's true. That was a very important bug fix. It was, the, it's true. I don't even have the boop voice line. No, I mean, I don't play Sombra. Yeah. I do play Sombra, just not often. She's probably... She's definitely in my top ten, but I don't think she even cracks my top five for characters played. But she's really fun. Probably my favorite DPS to play. I just usually don't play DPS other than Pharah. Please enjoy this pancake.
I will enjoy this pancake. You should post this pancake in the Twitch. You did enjoy it posting the Twitch chat. Aha. I'm way ahead of you, buddy. You are. Oh, Vickis got engaged. Yeah. I was going to mention it, but, like, things were actually happening. I saw the tweet just maybe 15 minutes ago. Good job, Vickis. Hasn't he been with his girlfriend for, like, a decade? Uh -huh. I don't know anything about his girlfriend. No, me neither. It's or just their like... relationship. I just it's... know that Vickis plays Mario with his feet and streams game or plays games and is a good commentator. So, congrats to Vickis. Hooray! Yeah, Vickis got engaged. It, it is on his Twitter. That's really cute. Yeah! Ah! Yep, that's this guy. She fucks up. She fucks up fast and hard. Hello, hello. Yep. Okay. So, Clove, I hear you were yodeling about my podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yodeling? <laughs> it's a very good podcast so far. I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I seriously am. I was so worried that, like, the premise was only funny to me. <laughs> it works really well. Because either you... You're either on the side of, I know what this thing is, and can laugh about what's being said wrong, and then the side of not knowing what the thing is, and being equally confused by the thing. Yeah. It only works, I think it would only work with large and elaborate franchises when there is that dynamic of someone who kind of knows something, and someone who knows absolutely nothing. Well, I kind of know things. Kind of. Like, a lot of... Basically, when we're choosing things for this, it's, um... It's a... Ah. What we have to pick is things that have enough cultural penetration that I can find things out about them just through cultural osmosis and, like, references and callbacks and parodies and stuff like that. So, like, but, Homestuck. Yeah, but something that, exactly like... Exactly like Homestuck, so that Yeah, works. except I'm obsessed with Homestuck. I own Homestuck merchandise. Yeah. Um, we all love Homestuck. So it has to be something I know just enough about to have, like, misinterpretations of. But if I know absolutely nothing about it, then it doesn't work because there's nothing for me to work off of. And if I know too much about it, then just I, all my misinterpretations are cleared up. Right. The next two episodes planned will be like Earthbound and uh, One Piece in some order. Yeah, Earthbound and One Piece. Um, I also heard your suggestion for Final Fantasy XIV, and I've got to tell you, I have played Final Fantasy XIV, I skipped every single line of dialogue they threw at me. I don't know what the plot is. Yeah, uh... Like, I, I, don't, I don't want to spoil it. The last patch was very, like, oh, oh god. Basically what happened was, in the first series of story patches, they set up this plot, and then that we went to go fight some dragons, and now we came back to it, and now we just have to, like, suddenly, oh, we're going to Alamigo. Woo! Little bird is here. Uh, there's also um, Resident Evil has been suggested because the only thing I know about Resident Evil is um, some you know kind enough of, things. Yeah, some kind of sandwich girl that's good at lock, lock picking or something. They may or may not be the same person. I I can't quite remember. Uh, some kind of Rocket Man, and then s stars and stupid house puzzles, and that's it. 
and Chris Redfield's biceps. I don't know anything about those. Oh, it's... Oh, we will learn. <laughs> I've got pictures. Both has so... pictures. Oh my god, it's <laughs> an elaborate... It's... <laughs> I can't even explain it, it's just... It's an adventure we'll be on. Resident Evil is an extremely good choice. Um... You wanna be there for Resident Evil, Clove? I don't know anything. I oh god, we can have two guests that know nothing. I'm fine <laughs> with that. Um, Metal Gear Solid has also been suggested because while I have like experienced Metal Gear Solid 2, I don't know what's going on because I wasn't paying attention. Like I wrote notes, and my notes just eventually devolved into question marks. The other advantage to it is we could do like one episode per game. Yeah. A lot goes on in Metal Gear Solid. Or per, like, character chunk. Yeah. Like, you can do a Solid Snake episode, you can do a Big Boss episode. You could do it that way. I think it'd be more fun- uh, well, actually that'd be a pretty good way to do it, to cover multiple games. Wait, is my resolution not set correctly? Oh, okay, it is set correctly. There's basically been three separate main characters throughout the Metal Gear franchise, and each one of them has, like, two, two or three games centered on them. So basing it on main character would actually be a pretty good way to do it. Okay, my my explanation of the Metal Gear Solid 2 plot is Snake is here, he's taking pictures for some reason, now Raiden is here, um, uh, that lady is also here, and Infinite Ammo. And Raiden is naked, that's it. That's all I remember. I just vividly remember the Vulgan stuff in Metal Gear Solid 3. Because that like, entire section of the game is just... In Metal really Gear Solid 2, I remember the very beginning and the very end, and nothing in between. Oh, also Kojima doesn't like newts, but that's true of every Metal Gear Solid game. That is anyway. the overarching meta commentary, yeah. So, while May is playing Kingdom Hearts, say hello, May. Hello. <laughs> Shall we play Overwatch? Good. Oh, we're, we're gonna go play Overwatch. I'm, I was gonna do work. <laughs> I, I just got sandwiches delivered to me, so I'm gonna be eating a burger for a minute. But I could play Overwatch after if we wanted to. Minute. Yeah, it'll take me literally 60 seconds to devour all this. No, that's not true. It'll take me like 10 minutes. Gnome is actually secretly Kirby. <laughs> no, my little brother is Kirby. He devours food, and it's just gone. It's instantly not there anymore. My brother is also Kirby. Like you know those like. Plays donuts, but like occasionally people challenge each other to eat them without licking your lips. My brother circumvents that challenge by just shoving the whole thing into his mouth. That's unhealthy. So is so are many things my brother does. My 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 brother does not make sensible decisions. Admittedly, I probably need to. <laughs> As much as I want to keep playing as a reset, I feel like I need to finish this because this, video games are expensive as a hobby. <laughs> this is what oh, I'm yeah. learning again. Yeah, they are. I'm excited to I'm excited to play Zelda right now, but I'm not excited about my checking out. <laughs> I'm glad Gnome is in Smash. Oh, what? My uh, creepy. There is a stream going on, and there is a chat. Oh, right, yeah. So people can hear this conversation, and people are glad that Gnome is in Smash. I always... Except it's Gnome's I... brother who is Kirby. People are listening to me, and I keep forgetting. I hope I'm entertaining enough. I mean... Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. It's Kingdom Hearts, Clove. You're more entertaining than... I don't know, I just watched Goofy Shell Slam his back into an eel. Fast. Which, to be fair, is now going to be repeated like 500 times because it's a JRPG. But this did, when we were talking about it last night, I did get reminded of uh, how Riku Ansem is hotter than normal Riku, and it's really upsetting when he like changes back. It's weird, yeah. He is very handsome. But tell you what, I'll tell you when he's on screen so you can gawk at him. Well, if it's. We're, we're playing. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, Zehanord is in this one. And then. No, no, this is one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's in one. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you have the link? I'm watching. 
Oh, you are. Yeah, okay. we're fighting Ursula. We sure are. Uh, we we were talking about how I really like ladies that have other creatures on their bottom halves. Yeah. Also, that Ursula. I still can't out get over the fact that Ursula is based on divine. Yeah. Yeah, it's, she is. It's like simultaneously glorious, but also kind of shitty. A little bit, yeah. Or I guess that's the trend with all of like the queer coded Disney villains that you like, oh, it's cool that we get these characters that are kind of fabulous, but also villains that we're supposed to hate. And then yeah. I just ended up looking like Scar from The Lion King. <laughs> oh. What video game should I play while my youth playing, playing this video game? Oh no, it's time for the demon ice cream van! Yep. <laughs> what? You hear that horrible um, cacophony in the background? I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, I it's, really it's, don't like it. it's an ice cream van that appears in May's neighborhood that a appears to originate from Silent Hill. Mm. I do remember as a kid there was that one ice cream van that would just say hello every couple of minutes. That's awful. I hate <laughs> you it. Just, you just hear it in the distance? Wow, that's like the most white van thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh. Like, did it offer you, like, did it ask if you wanted to see some puppies as well? Uh, just to complete the, the creepiness? I, mean, I I was never a partaker. Now I'm reminded of the knife sharpening truck. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh, like, come, let's see if I can find that. I, yeah, I, I can. It's... That was the wrong button. Mm. <laughs> Clove, have you seen the bequeathing thing? The bequeathing? Bequeathing, with, with an F. I... <laughs> no? Um, this was a question posed in the Kingdom Hearts subreddit. Um, come on. Come on, Discord, you can do it. There we go. Oh man, that was a uh, tough fight. God, I forgot Sora has nipples. <laughs> sure does. Usually they don't. He's a mammal, Clove! But like, usually anime boys don't have nipples. The, okay, that's true. Okay. I want to like, blow my friend's <laughs> mind. Sorry. I just read um, Yeah, keep going, keep going, it's great! Here we go, here's the knife sharpening truck post. My neighborhood has never had an ice, an ice cream truck. In the summer, we have the knife sharpening truck. It slowly circles the block and rings its ominous bell. I have never seen someone interact with it. It may be that only those marked by death can see it. Alex, this is truly frightening! <laughs> I never thought about it much until today. But you're right, this is honestly a messed up thing for me to be accustomed to, huh? <laughs> and that was me reading that post. But yeah, how do you like the bequeathing? I, I enjoy it. <laughs> you, you, you enjoy bequeathing. I enjoy bequeathing. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think knife sharpening trucks are like a thing. Like, why? Like, like, trying if to you find Google them. them. Yeah, if I, if I Googled it without the word Tumblr at the end, I got articles about them instead. Yeah. Mike's knife sharpening truck. Bob's grinding surface. <laughs> that one of... sounds like a porn movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Clove, have you seen those recipes generated by a neural network? I was there last night, yes. Yes. Good, good. I'm so glad. That was a fun part of the stream. Yeah, we also spent some time playing with the indie game generator. Mm -hmm. The indie game generator is a piece of art. Okay. I mean... I've always just shaped, sharpened knives at home. Yes. The knife with the knife sharpener. Rather than waiting for a crazy man in a van. I feel proud to have been bequeathed that tweet. So admittedly, I think a knife a knife truck driver would be a very good character in something. I, I don't know what in particular, but for some tabletop game, 
just someone who goes around the new knife sharpening truck. Honestly, it sounds like a Panic at the Dojo character. It sounds like a Cthulhu NPC or something. Like the guy That's who owns the guy who owns the knife sharpening truck. He comes and rescues you from something. A knife demon. Sure. Oh, Clove, um, so Gnome was telling me a, a little while ago that he kind of wants to do, like, a fellowship thing for maybe, uh, maybe for six feet, and he wants me in it, and if I am doing that, I am bringing back Pop-Tart. Oh, God bless. Because Pop-Tart was such a good character. <laughs> I was yeah, initially surprised Joey would not be playing the spider, but... We're taking a move from the spider. Yeah, we're taking a move so. from the spider for for Pop Tart, so that Pop Tart may hop on hop on walls like a good frog. Would it be using all the new playbooks or? It yeah, all the things I have written. That's the plan. So spider and remnants will be on up. Well, will be on the table along with constructed and dragon and giant. Well, you said it wouldn't be for a while, so the pair will probably be there too. The pair might also be out. Well, see, the thing about it not being for a while is I don't know if uh, how long these things will all take to get out. That's true. Well, no, we're, we're still relying on our plan of informing the McElroys about Fellowship and making your game super famous. Then, yeah, that would be good. And then question I don't know how to do that without bit. being a rando. I know, right? Dear McElroy brothers, please play, play a better game. game. <laughs> just ask, just send it or post it on Yahoo Answers. They'll find it. Apparently, because uh, people in the Six Feet Under chat room were excited about it, uh, in the latest The Adventures, the The Adventure Zone Zone, their their fan podcast about the show, which is still run by them, so I don't know what the point is. Um, but there's just hey. a, it's just a podcast where they talk about the podcast. Yeah. They have apparently answered questions like people saying like, hey, please play not D&D. And they said, we probably will for whatever we do after the Adventure Zone because we want to play more tabletops. And a lot of people apparently don't like D&D. So like, hooray. Okay. I'm glad that bleed over is finally happening. Me too. And there was a shout out to the guy who runs campaign, um, which was cool. And maybe Max Fun will reach out to Ooh. add some other tabletop podcasts. May. Oh, that'd be cool. Go look in Team Frog Nugget. Okay. You will enjoy it. Oh. That's a lot of fish. Look at the jellies. Oh, man. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. <laughs>